Hi there everyone, my name is Helenique and welcome to this very special video that I'm recording impromptu, spontaneous, on a Monday morning, all about intimacy. Now if you know anything about me, you'll know that I'm a clinical psychologist, I'm actually also a yoga teacher and a drummer, musician, and really a creative, uh, inspiring uh, person who talks a lot about the spiritual path and emotional maturity how to really get deeply personal with oneself, how to attract higher love, extraordinary partnership, and how to also have a really profound relationship with life. And on this journey, I've really always uh, proud, proud myself around being someone who's quite independent and quite creative. And still, I've seen that life has brought me some very interesting challenges to actually deepen and expand my level of intimacy. So I wanted you to know that actually this is a very important area in life. It's something we need to take very seriously and something we can actually develop in continually in our lives. And in fact, if we don't, life will bring us very specific challenges, obstacles, sometimes even life-threatening situations that are going to force us to really become deeply personal with life. Now, there's a few things you can do to really get clear about whether this is operating in your life and whether you actually can right now before things get very intense develop your relationship skills develop your ability to connect with yourself and develop your profound and intimate relationship with life because if you don't like i said there will be some very powerful experience that's going to come and whack you into it and this comes really from the teachings of carl gustav jung a very famous austrian psychiatrist who was really coming soon after Freud who talked a lot about what he called polarity right and polarity is talking a lot about these very important uh, ways that opposites have a complementary relationship between them in other words life and death have a very specific way that they relate to each other in the way that we create meaning as human beings so our value for life is really defined by our experience or our uh, upcoming experience of dying or of other people dying. We begin to evaluate and really value life because we know the experience of death. The same is happening for absolutely everything. So if you remain a little detached in life, life is going to bring you some experience that will force you to become more intimate. So I'm going to give you five questions that I recommend you check in with and you ask yourself deeply about. These five questions are going to help guide you as to whether you need to get a little bit more deeply related to people. And you might not want to, and this is why I'm doing the video, because you might actually think you've got it all covered. Um, you might actually, however, be paying a huge price for not being close and personal with people or not being close and personal with yourself. And you might be unconscious of that. You might even be in denial of it completely. And life will then bring you something to wake you up. As Jung said, whatever we do not work on inside of us, whatever does not become intimate personal work in our lives actually will arrive as fate. So it means if you do not confront certain things about your yourself, your fulfillment and your your completion and your uh, level of comfort with life, if you do not actually meet and confront these deeper desires and wishes that you have, they will be forced upon you by something that is appearingly accidental or unasked for or something that shows up in uh, the outer world and then you will have to integrate it, you will be forced to integrate it and that's what I mean then by an accident or a, uh, an accidental situation that might arrive or an illness that might arrive or something that you did not necessarily go out and seek. So the first question you need to ask is are you in an intimate relationship that fulfills your need for intimacy and connection with another human being? That's the first question. Second question is when other people are in need or where they've been in a very difficult emotional situation, are you someone that manages to show up? That's the second question. The third one is are you somebody who actually gets very connected to your feelings when you go through difficult times, when you are struggling, where something happens and you're, you're forced to let go or you have an, a loss in your life, are you able to feel those feelings in a healthy way? Do you allow yourself to really feel? Do you go into drinking, smoking, uh, avoiding, partying? And maybe you do for a little bit, do you do it for a long period of time and really manage to avoid the feelings? 
The fourth question you want to be asking yourself is, if you are in a business or if you work as an employer uh, or an employee for whatever position you might be in your work life, are you struggling to create leads in your business if you are an entrepreneur? Are you someone that's not managing to get enough leads? Do you have the options to actually sell to new people your product or your service? The fifth question is, do you actually manage to sell? Do you close the deal easily enough? Are you someone who struggles in your work life to actually move your energy out into the world and to provide services and products to people that actually really want what you have to offer? If you've answered three out of five of these questions, then I would really recommend you go and find someone to work with. Maybe you can wait for one of my strategy calls and I can get on a call with you and we can discover what your next step could be. And you can even join one of the online programs which are all about relationship skills and how to get much more deeply personal with life. This is my recommendation to you to actually look at your ability to come closer to other people, your ability to come closer to your feelings and really your capacity to be up close and personal with life. Thanks so much for watching. You can watch my other videos and let me know what you think. Thanks so much. Bye.